the cases uh, involving the January 6th attack on the Capitol, all of those civil suits for which you have won, these might be the cases that do finally bankrupt Donald Trump. There's so many victims uh, in these cases. And, and Lawrence, as, as you mentioned, we have not you know, set out a dollar amount. You know, we're principally seeking accountability. And ultimately, it's up to a jury as to you know, what that dollar amount is if uh, Donald Trump is found guilty for inciting and aiming the mob. But you know, the, the plaintiff class is, is so large. And as you said, when you compare it to the Giuliani verdict, uh, the exposure uh, is certainly pretty great. And, and what I hope people uh, at, at home uh, take comfort in is that for years, there's been this frustration that Donald Trump uh, has escaped uh, responsibility and accountability. And finally, even as slow as these cases are moving, and they're moving too slow, uh, accountability is coming for Donald Trump. And, and perhaps, you know, that's how we can redeem the rule of law in our country. Yeah, we're going to see some accountability on Monday, and, and that's why the, the uh, judicial system has two components, civil and criminal. Sometimes criminal moves faster than civil. Sometimes civil moves faster than criminal. Uh, here we've seen uh, this, this case uh, brought by the attorney general was actually years in the making, uh, but this year it seemed to move quite quickly uh, compared to what people were seeing on the criminal side. And Lawrence, you know, frankly, our criminal and civil uh, justice system was not built for a legal terrorist like Donald Trump. He is a professional litigant. I mean, he, there may not be another person in America who has had their name attached to more lawsuits than Donald Trump. And, and through 40 years of experience in the legal system, he's learned how to grind it down and to delay, delay, delay and obstruct. Uh, and he's been somewhat successful. And, and frankly, we have to look beyond Trump as to what do we do when someone like Trump comes along in the future? Adam Schiff, I think, has the best proposal here. He has a uh, bill called the Protecting Our Democracy Act, which creates kind of a fast track uh, when you have cases uh, involving an executive or a former executive so that someone isn't able to grind it out like this and then perhaps win an election and then make their uh, liability go completely away. So the first thing that Donald Trump is already in the process of bankrupting is his own presidential campaign, uh, the Biden-Harris campaign raising much more money uh, than the Trump campaign, Biden-Harris campaign spending it all on campaigning, uh, the Trump campaign spending it on Donald Trump's lawyers. Yeah, and, and, and Lawrence, again, the, these folks, so many of them through small contributions, you know, put their faith in a man who's promised that he's going to make their lives better. And all he's done is made his own uh, life, you know, better. And, and when Donald Trump looks at the word America, you know, it has seven letters in it, and he only sees one, the letter I. And, and that's why we have to make it clear this election in November for Donald Trump is entirely about escaping accountability. And is, is to the degree that Joe Biden can show that for him, the election is about seeing everybody and governing for everybody. I think he can win on that. And that's going to become even more pronounced as more and more cases uh, come, you know, for Donald Trump and we get closer to November.